Welcome to a new Teen CGC 9.8 video. So usually on the channel here, I don't talk too much about the uh, trending or hot comic books, uh, certainly as much as some other channels. But today I wanted to, yeah, because these classic Todd McFarlane CGC 9.8 comic books, they're just so collectible. These are some of my favorite comic books. And I've been really recommending these since the channel started basically as being really great investment grade books. So I think now's it kind of as good of a time as ever to kind of check in and see what the future holds. And certainly they're just so scorching hot right now. Yeah, we'll get into some of the pricing uh, information for some of these books. But really quickly, if you haven't already, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Yeah, I'd love to have you on our comic book collecting and comic book investing team. Hit the bell for all the latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter too. All the links in the description below for that. But let's get into the, you know, some of my favorite, all-time favorite CGC 9.8 books here. And I know they're hot right now, but, uh, you know, we'll kind of check in and maybe see what the, some of the, f the future holds for these uh, 9.8s. So the first one I want to talk about, it's a Batman 423. Yeah, and I, I got two of these in the CGC 9.8. But for Batman 423, such a collectible Todd McFarlane. That he did not do very much Batman comics. Uh, this is definitely the most popular cover. It's not his first cover, Batman cover, but his most kind of popular and standalone cover, I guess. And I've always said for Batman 423, it's almost like a Spawn prototype, like with the cape looking all crazy. That's like the first time kind of McFarlane perfecting his cape game, <laughs> sort of before he got into doing Spawn. And I always say like Spawn is basically like Spider-Man and um, uh, Batman sort of mixed together with maybe a little bit of like Dracula, but like, uh, you know, horror vibes. So this, you know, Batman 423 is really like a spawn prototype, but looks really awesome on the census too, like as a collector item. So there's 120 CGC 9.8s in the blue label for uh, Batman 423. Yeah, classic Todd McFarlane cover, 14.5% the CGC 9.8 ratio. So for a late 80s book, that's really favorable. Of all graded copies, only 14.5% of them are 9.8, so that's a nice relative rarity in the CGC 9.8. Mentioned this in the past, like it's a good combo of not a lot of 9.8s out there, you know, only 120 with a nice relative rarity in that 9.8 ratio. So the some of the latest completed listings for Batman 423, it's hot. Uh, $910 in the CGC 9.8 blue label and $1,051 in the blue label as well. Uh, these, I'm pretty sure they're all time highs. Um, you know, the 9.8 market's really hot right now, these McFarlane bo books especially. But this one's so collectible. So, you know, moving forward here, um, you know, uh, are these McFarlane books gonna stay this hot? Possibly, um, I think for Batman 423, if you're really kind of on top of your searches, you can kind of aim to hope to get this one in the 9.8, closer to 800. Um, you know, definitely under a thousand, I think is still doable for this one. You know, hopefully a couple more 9.8s kind of come on market here, but not a lot of them out there. And I've said this one in the past with just about 100 9.8s out there. It's such a great uh, Todd McFarlane fan collector item. and. That's why I got two and um, you know, kind of hard to not recommend all of these, but uh, hopefully under a thousand dollars for a Batman 423 in the CGC 9.8, such a, a classic book to want though. Okay, uh, next one here. And these are, this is really like a definitive list of the Todd McFarlane CGC 9.8s to get. Like they're, you know, they're not very intricate. Like these are just the ones to get. Uh, so next one, one I got out here as well. Spawn number one, the newsstand version I want to focus on as well. Spawn number one, so nostalgic, so classic, coming out in 1992. You know, I would have been seven years old then, probably not into comics too much, but come around, you know, a couple years later, getting right into comic books. And Todd McFarlane's Spawn was the coolest thing ever back then. So uh, Spawn number one, so nostalgic. In the newsstand version, it's the more rare version. So the one I would recommend if you're coming at it from like an investment perspective, like I always like to do. But uh, on the census here for Spawn one, 6,035 in the 9.8. So that's the direct versions and the newsstand versions here. And you can notice the newsstand just from the barcode here. The direct version doesn't have the barcode. The, uh, the newsstand and the direct all clumped into this 6,035 number. So what I like to do, I like to just take 5% of that number, which is a conservative estimate of the percentage of those that are newsstands. 
That gives you about 300. So 300 spawn number ones in the newsstand CGC 9.8 blue label. That's not too many. A lot of people say the, the percentages of newsstands should be lower in spawn comics too. So it could be even lower than that. So an interesting one, spawn number one, I've recommended it sort of ad nauseum in the past as just a great you know, McFarlane book. And one I, I've always wanted because I got a, a nice one in the raw as well in spawn number one. Kind of wish I bought uh, another one too because uh, having a look at some of the prices, well the 9.8 ratio, 53.5%. Can't really know the 9.8 ratio of the newsstand version, which is interesting, but nothing to really write home about there in the relative rarity. But uh, for pricing, really interesting. Right now, there, there's some kind of spawn movie rumors. I don't know exactly what was said or where it came from, but uh, there's an auction on eBay right now with a, I think it ends tonight or tomorrow, uh, but it was this morning at $910. Yeah, one of the team members kind of sent me this and I was pretty shocked and I ended up sending it to a couple other team members just out of shock, but spawn number one newsstand with a couple hours left at $910 US in an auction now, so it's gonna sell for at least that, I would imagine. Um, this is one I've said has the potential, um, you know, I bought mine for $375, uh, you know, getting on about a year ago now, and uh, you know, I loved it around that price, I, you know, the more rare version of spawn one, a book that everyone will want at probably at some point, uh, so it makes a lot of sense why this one's kind of heating up. Tough to kind of say get in there right now, but I think if you can still kind of pick up a spawn newsstand closer to that, you know, it was kind of about 550 to 600 before this $910 auction. So if you can get one closer to that price, uh, the let's call it 600 bucks. I think uh, spawn number one in the newsstand, CGC 9.8, looking really good, is a buy at that price, even right now with the rumors kind of swirling. It's just a great one to have. Yeah, such a collectible one. Okay, next one here. Another one I brought out as well. We talked about it on our pricing video a little bit. Incredible Hulk number 340. Yeah, classic Todd McFarlane kind of reflection Hulk cover. Yeah, super, I think, innovative and cool cover of the time and a really brave cover, I think. Like, who would have thought to kind of draw Hulk in the re reflection of Wolverine's claws kind of thing. Uh, so uh, in the CGC 9.8, such a collectible one. We'll get into prices for this one because maybe this one hasn't increased in price that much to where you know it's making a little more sense than some of these others possibly. Uh, 733 CGC 9.8s in the blue label out there. Really popular Marvel book, so there's gonna be quite a lot of them out there, but that's still not too much. And then when you look at the 9.8 ratio, another reason why this really sticks out, 13.6% of all graded copies are CGC 9.8s. So a really good relative rarity for late 80s book. These are late 80s books too. Like there's a plenty sort of late 70s, early 80s 9.8s that have this type of 9.8 ratio that are more expensive than this book. And you know, so from that perspective, the CGC 9.8 ratio always looks favorable on uh, Hulk 340 and Batman 423, looking really favorable, I think. Uh, so for Hulk 340, a great collector item, certainly if you're a uh, Wolverine and Hulk fan and a McFarland fan, <laughs> it's the one to get. Uh, about $800 or something for it. Yeah, one sold in a buy it now for $799.99, and there was an auction that was like $807 or something like that, and that was in the last month here. So. Right around 800 for this one. You know, maybe you get a deal closer to 750 for a nice looking one. You know, I, th I think that price still kind of makes sense even though, you know, about a year ago, and over, a little over a year ago, I purchased all mine for about 400. So just to give you an idea of how far this book has come, like a lot of these McFarlane books uh, pretty much doubled. But, um, you know, maybe if you can get it closer to 700, I think that's still a pretty great buy. And if you got the long-term time horizon, I think, yeah, a, a theme of this video, I think, is I think all these will do great long-term. But maybe right now with the Venom movie and a lot of the promo and McFarlane fans coming out of the woodwork, maybe we might be at a short-term high in the range of prices possibly. So you might want to be patient. Tough to say, Hulk 340 though, maybe one that you can kind of actually get out there and hopefully find closer to 700. If you want it now, 800 yeah, and the CGC 9.8, unfortunately. Okay, uh, next one here, I'll bring mine in. I brought out really quick, an amazing Spider-Man 316. Yeah, we'll get a graphic up here. The classic kind of first uh, McFarlane Venom cover, that's really cool. Venom's face is on 315, 
but uh, 316 is way cooler and cl such a classic McFarlane cover. Uh, so Amazing Spider-Man 316, interesting to see some of the pricing. It's been sort of perking up and I think the next book we'll talk about is really expensive, so it's kind of um, pricing some people out of that Venom book. So um, Amazing Spider-Man 300, we'll talk about that in a second here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 316, so collectible. I kind I have two of them in the 9.8. Kind of wish I bought like one or two more to be honest before the these seeing some of these uh, recent prices, but 965 of them in the 9.8. So not too bad. There's I'd almost expect there to be more actually. Yeah, 965 in the blue label, actually not too bad. A one of 965, awesome Venom collector item, pretty cool. 27.4% uh, the 9.8 ratio. So of all graded copies, 27.4% of them are CGC 9.8s. So higher than, so not as rare, higher as uh, than uh, Hulk 340 or Batman 423. So this book's not as rare in the 9.8 as those ones, which is why it's a little bit less price basically. But still, so classic, so collectible that I think even though this one's not the rarest in the 9.8, this is just one to get at the price, I think. Yeah, so talking about the price, um, that one recent completed listing we talked about on our pricing video there was $575. So that was quite a lot, I thought. Um, I think that might be an all-time high for the direct version. That was the price I sort of said that normally a newsstand would go for. So I think for this one, around 500, maybe even under, is still doable in the 9.8. I think that 575 was an overpay because yeah, this one's not as rare as some of them in the 9.8 with that uh, little bit higher 9.8 percentage. And that really matters when it comes to these prices. The prices are pretty much correlated to those um, 9.8 ratios. So uh, I think right around 500 makes sense. And even me, like doing this video, I'm like I got two of them, uh, but I think you know, that classic Venom cover in the 9.8, even though it's not super rare, under $500 in the 9.8, it's worth one, I think, worth kind of stockpiling, to be honest. Like, I'm thinking of maybe grabbing a couple more. So classic, I think it's never gonna go away. Um, it's always gonna be the Todd McFarlane Venom cover. And um, yeah, I, I just think uh, it's a decent value and given how classic and I think the future potential may be a little bit underrated on it. Okay, so, uh, so Amazing Spider-Man 316, another hot McFarlane CGC 9.8 to consider for sure. Um, yeah, hopefully under 500 if you can swing it right now in this environment. Last one here, Amazing Spider-Man 300 in the CGC 9.8. Yeah, so this one, uh, such a rare 9.8 uh, origin and first appearance of Venom. So you get the rarity mixed with the huge ass first appearance. And uh, the cover homage too, like so many modern cover homages of Amazing Spider-Man 300. So it's like, it's known throughout all generations of collecting, I think, because of the cover homage to a lot of moderns homaging Amazing Spider-Man 300. But it looks amazing on the CGC census too. And that's really one, the main reason why it's, um, uh, you know, a really expensive CGC 9.8. 1,037 9.8s in the blue label for Amazing Spider-Man 300. So a one of 1,037, so more than Amazing Spider-Man 316, which is kind of interesting, but there's so many of these graded. Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 300 is an ex one of the most popular 80s books. Uh, and when you're looking at those 9.8s compared to all graded copies, only a 5.7% of all graded copies are CGC 9.8. So of all, yeah, that is extremely low. That That's ge almost generationally low, I would say. The only other book that kind of comes close is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, first print, and I think the second print too in Ninja Turtles number one. And even uh, like, shout out Amazing Spider-Man 301, the next book, really rare in the 9.8. Uh, I think it's kind of a six percentage 9.8 ratio, so a little bit less rare, but still just super rare, these ones. But Amazing Spider-Man 300, um, you know, so rare on the census. One, I've pretty much since the beginning of the channel, I've been making videos about, you know, recommending to buy it and talking about how I overpaid for one. And then I ended up buying another one for a really good price here. Yeah, this one uh, kind of about a year ago now for it was 1,975. Uh, one recently selling here. And we talked about this on the pricing video that we just did for 4,950. A couple comments on that pricing video of some going over $5,000 in the direct version in the CGC 9.8 for this one too. So, wow, yeah, it's just 
exploding in value right now. Um, you know, a lot of these other ones, um, one thing to mention too, um, I think the, there was a new stand version of this uh, CGC 9.8, Amazing Spider-Man 300, that sold about a month or two ago for 4,500. I think it's possible that there's some Venom noobs out there maybe thinking that uh, the new stand and the Direct are the same or just not aware of the difference in rarity. And then coming in and going, oh, okay, well, one sold for 4,500, that's the fair price, so now I gotta pay around that. A little bit of that, I think, is going on right now. So, in the direct version for Amazing Spider-Man 300, I'd be patient on it right now. I don't think you wanna pay 5,000 for it. Uh, there's 1,037 of them out there. Like, there's so many of these graded, and there's actually quite a lot of these out there, even though it's extremely rare in the 9.8, because, again, when you account for how many of them graded, there are only 5.7% or 9.8, so that's lowest in the era, basically, which is why it leads in price for the era, too. I always say the kind of 9.8 ratios are correlated to price. But at 4,950, I think on the direct version, you definitely want to be patient here. Um, you know, I do, I just have a feeling, you know, six to 12 months after Venom, uh, the Venom 2 movie is right out of theaters and just, you know, a lot of that maybe noob crowd, for lack of a better word, is gone. Uh, I could see some of the directs maybe being closer to 4,000, maybe even dipping under 4,000 again in the CGC 9.8 for an Amazing Spider-Man 300. I mean, it's, you know, I think the long-term trend for this book, I think, will be intact. That's what I think, uh, one thing to say too, that's what I think will happen, but who knows, to be honest, because uh, I've been talking, you know, to people on the team and even my general feeling a little bit is like, kind of getting some Incredible Hulk 181 vibes, especially for the 9.8 version with that low 9.8 ratio. Thinking um, that this could just go on a really like straight up, not straight up, but a nice upward trend over the long term, like a Hulk 181 or an Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, but even saying that, uh, that, you know, that's a long-term trend, I think. I think right now we might be at maybe a short-term peak in the range of prices for Amazing Spider-Man 300 and maybe some of these McFarlane books as well. But tough to say, like, you know, um, it, yeah, that, we'll conclude it up there too with Amazing Spider-Man 300. I think right now, like if you wanted this book right now, tr you know, closer to 4,000 hopefully, you know, if someone may be willing to do 4,100, for, you know, that might be doable. Uh, I don't think I'd get in there though and pay over 5,000. Certainly, I think some are going for over 5,000 right now. Yeah, kind of hard to believe. But uh, okay, we'll conclude up here. Yeah, generally, you know, we like to uncover kind of the cold books that you can get for a fair price on the channel, but worth it to just talk about these hot ones because these are my all-time favorites pretty much and yeah and like i said i've been recommending these you can go back and watch some of the first 10 or 20 videos we did they were all like buy batman 423 buy hulk 340 buy amazing spider-man 300 i overpaid for amazing spider-man 300 that was one of our early videos uh so um yeah just uh so uh, collectible this uh, uh group of comic books and uh, worth talking about even though they're really hot and you might have to be a little bit patient if you want the best price on these ones right now okay um yeah it, it, like the one last thing to say and i did touch on it there is um you know i think the trend in pretty much all of it like in general the trend in all these 9.8s is really good but we could be at that sort of top of the range but, uh, you know, these are ones to sort of buy on a pullback because I just think the Todd McFarlane cult of fans is, you know, here to stay and it's kind of getting bigger all, all the time. And in the early 90s was when comic books were the most popular they ever were. And Todd McFarlane was the biggest thing then. So there's always going to be kind of new McFarlane fans coming out of the woodwork, growing up like me, basically, and getting back into the hobby like I did three years ago and won all these. And yeah, I did want to get definitive with this one too. You know, only uh, five of them there were. Like these are the five Todd McFarlane CGC 9.8s to get. Like they're, they're going to be around forever. They're so classic. Because there's a lot of kind of eclectic ones you can get with McFarlane in the 9.8 too, but... Uh, not worth looking over these yeah not not at all so yeah definitely worth its kind of own video all right uh, that'll be it for today yeah always uh, fun to talk about these Todd McFarlane CGC 9.8s pretty much my favorite comic books yeah you add in like a Batman Beyond number one in the 9.8 these are all my favorite comic books for <laughs> adding a couple more Batmans and these are all my uh, favorite 9.8s to buy and recommend as great investment grade books as well 
yeah, so we'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate all the support. And I'll see you on the next one.